Hey everybody, this is Laura from North Star Bushcraft, and today I wanted to talk about the black cottonwood. So this here is a black cottonwood, which is very similar to the balsam poplar. They're actually really hard to tell apart, but according to Ben Gad, who is the natural history expert of the Canadian Rockies, um, he says that if you're on the western side of the Rockies, it's probably more likely to be a black cottonwood, and on the eastern slope, it's, it's probably going to be a balsam poplar. So the way I tell this tree, it looks a little bit, the older ones especially, they look a little bit like an aspen tree, except on the black cottonwood, the bark on the bottom is really quite furrowed, and then at the top, it looks, it looks quite a bit like an aspen. So this tree, even just walking by these trees this time of year, is medicine. They're so fragrant. They're, they're beautiful. Uh, beautiful tree and they've got lots of uses. This one is just starting to bud and I went for um, a really amazing medicine walk with Brenda Holder from Mohican Trails and she taught me that when you harvest the buds from a black cottonwood you never want to take the very end one because that one's pulling nutrients right to the end of the branch so you can harvest them from further on down the branch and you want to not take them all off of one branch or off of all of one tree obviously you want to just take a few from each tree in the area and these buds I'm actually gonna I'm gonna grab a couple right now you also want to make sure that if you start pulling them off if they don't want to come just leave them on the tree I'm gonna take a couple buds And I'll show you what I'm going to do with these when we get home. Um, the inner bark of the black cottonwood is really sweet, and it can be dried and ground into a flower, and it's, uh, it's, so it's edible. It's a good survival food. And this tree also has salicytes in it, which means that it turns into aspirin in your body after you ingest it. So it's got good pain killing and reducing inflammation, reducing fever. That's what salicytes can do for us, if, as long as aspirin... Um, isn't a problem for you. So even the leaves of the black cottonwood, um, you can even put the leaves right on your sore muscles and it'll help those pain relieving properties that'll go right into your skin. So amazing tree, thanks for joining us and uh, I'll show you what I'm going to do with these when we get home. Have a great day and we'll see you at northstarbushcraft.com. Check out the size of this black cottonwood tree. It's massive! You can see it's thick bark. This bark is really great. Um, makes a great handhold for the bow drill. And this tree, holy, this is just massive. We're right next to the Kicking Horse River here in pretty gravelly floodplain. That's where they love to grow. That's another way you can tell them between, uh, tell the difference between them and aspen. The cottonwoods are close to water. Beautiful! So I just wanted to show you what I'm going to do with these black cottonwood buds. All I did was I mashed them up and put them in a big bowl full of steaming hot water. And then you can just put a towel over your head and have a good old soak. These are really, really good for opening up the respiratory tract. Um, so if you have a cold or a cough or a sinus infection, we often get these things in the springtime. So it's no surprise that the remedy is also available in the spring. makes your house smell so sweet too. So that's my favorite use of the black cottonwood buds. Enjoy and we'll see you next time.